John Johnson, the head coach for the Carroll Tigers, joining us here tonight. Tigers fall to East Sac County at three games to nothing. Uh, John, what did you see from your club tonight? Well, I think after we lost the other night, we definitely bounced back tonight. Um, you know, I told the girls in the locker room, a lot of people during the day today and even tonight said, well, how, how do the girls look? And I said, I'm not sure because, you know, I didn't know how we were going to bounce back after the other night because I just don't have that experience with these girls yet. So I thought we did a really good job of, of coming out there. We always start the game a little tight. Uh, I think that happens after a loss like we had against Kemper. Um, to lose that bad, it, the kids get out there and just their, their confidence is not real great. Um, so they got, they got to pick it up. And I, I think one of the things that I really like is I like how aggressive we were. Um, uh, that being said, I think at times we're a little over aggressive and we're not taking care of the ball very well. But I think that uh, a little bit of lack of leadership uh, and because we're so young. You know, both these teams we're playing have a, a lot of upperclassmen, and I just have a couple. Coach, uh, how much did you see the team improve as far as running the quick sets and the quick offense that you want at times tonight? It looked really effective. Yeah, uh, you know, we're so small, we have to. Um, I, I thought the girls did a really good job, and, and Shelby is doing a good job of, of trying to go quick with just about every set. Uh, that being said, you know, I, we're not making very smart decisions uh, when we're out of system. So we're, when we're out of system, we're still trying to go, you know, really, really fast. And, and, and when that happens, um, the pass isn't quite there, which means the set isn't quite there. And then uh, offensively, we're taking uh, ill-advised swings, I think. so. First two games tonight, you guys kind of stayed in there for a while, and then Isak just kind of slowly able to kind of edge away from you. Yeah, we start off all three sets behind, you know, four, five, six points. And you, that's hard to come back. You can't come back like that against quality teams like the last couple teams we've played. So my girls got to be a little bit more confident. They got to get out there at the start of the game and really push at the start and not wait around for something to happen. And we're kind of waiting around uh, for the other team to make mistakes and waiting around to get going. We have to get out there right away, and we have to push, and we have to get ahead by several points. Because, I mean, after the start of the game where we're behind by several points, we always lost by the same number of points we were behind at the start of the game. So it was good that we can go back and forth like that, but it, it's the start of the game. Uh, you know, the end of the game we're behind, but it's the start of the game where we're behind by that far. Two areas of the defense I uh, thought saw improvement tonight, blocking at the net, uh, and then also uh, back row play getting the ball up to Shelby. Oh, definitely. Uh, bl blocking is, for how small we are, we actually blocked the ball pretty decent. Um, we made a, That first set today, we made a lot of net errors, uh, just being a little bit over-aggressive on the block. So you're right, I definitely the blocking got better. And defensively, I think the girls are getting a little bit better about scrambling around and chasing a lot of balls. Um, you know, that's with the defense, and it helps that we're blocking. So defensively, Tonight we could rely on the block a little bit more than usual so we could really um, play a little bit better defense. Lauren Janning had another outstanding night. A lot of her hits, though, coming out of the back row. Yeah, we tend to get in a rut. Uh, and when we're in a rut, Shelby likes to rely on Lauren a lot, uh, which against Kemper, Lauren hit really well from the back row. Tonight, you know, I would like to see the ball spread out, spread around a little bit more. And, you know, Lauren's an aggressive swinger from the back row, and she does hit the ball really well from back there. I just don't want to get to where we're relying on that all the time when we need to get out of uh, out of a rut. How did you see the development of a Bianca and also maybe Taylor or, or Sarah Klecky up there front hitting the ball? Yeah, Bianca and Taylor are getting much, much more comfortable with the offense, uh, I, especially because we're running the ball so fast. I think they're doing a great job of really going fast. And you can tell, even when we're not getting the hits over the net, um, we're up there before the blockers. And so, you know, to, to come in and change the offense and go this fast, we're definitely having a little bit of problems with it, but I think in the long run, I think it's going to be hugely beneficial for us. That third game just come down to leadership again. I think seven different times you were within one point, never able to get it tied. Yeah, we that, that comes down to leadership and experience. You know, we had some girls play some club ball this last year, and they played some good club, but... We just have so much inexperience on the court compared to teams like Kemper and ESAC. The kids, uh, you know, they've got good staffs, they've got good coaches, and the players have played a lot of volleyball, and they've played good volleyball. 
So the fact that we're young and inexperienced is kind of coming back to haunt us these last couple of matches. Well, Coach, I know this team will get better. You guys take on Boone coming up here on Tuesday night. We wish you the best of luck. Yep, thanks a lot.